So these uh, Honda hybrid manual, whatever you want to call them, chokes, used to be a lot more common than they are now, and there's a reason for that. They're kind of a pain. They are a very simple system, but I'm going to show you guys some common issues with these. First, what you're going to want to do to access everything is remove the three bolts from your recoil. Just slide the tank off. You don't got to disconnect the fuel line. I just let it hang like that. And now we have better access to this. Now, how this thing works is when you depress the blade control cable, not only does this control the blade brake for the flywheel or the flywheel brake, it also links up with that linkage and that goes to the choke system. So when you send this lever all the way back, it locks in place like this. Now some of these, this is a plastic piece that's in here, and if it won't catch no matter what you do, you're probably gonna end up having to take this thing off and replace it. Like I said, it's a pain. So when you bring the handle down, it slowly releases it. Now there is another pertinent part of this whole system that you have to make sure is working correctly or else your lawnmower will never start. What you'll wanna do is pull the carburetor apart and that's these two 10 millimeter bolts right here. So we're just gonna take those off and then you'll see this little flap right here. This goes up against that black nub. Sometimes those break off, they are plastic. You want to make sure that this is on the right side of that, not on the left side like that. If it's like that, it's wrong. This is the correct way. So when you go to reinstall your carburetor, make sure that all this is all right and correct. You also have these two gaskets. And this one, pull this off. You notice it's got the groove that's in here. And then this hole right here is a part of that whole deal. So you make sure that goes back on correctly. With the gasket that's behind the carburetor, behind the filter box, you wanna make sure that this goes back on correctly as well. And you have this little hole on the side of the carburetor. So you just reinstall it back like that and sandwich everything together. And I was mentioning earlier the plastic pieces that are in here. Sometimes these wear out. So it's in the description if you want to buy a new one of these and that's your issue. So it is kind of difficult to see, but with everything put back together. See if I can get a good angle. There we go. So you can see the little flap that's over here. And we'll, we'll move the choke. You can see how it works. How it moves that flap right there. That's everything that it's supposed to do. So you can see here at the front, it closes the choke. Maybe now you guys can see it a little bit better, but you can see it actuates that little flap now before it was not doing that. So always check that, especially if you've been into this thing, you clean your carburetor, you took everything apart, you put it back together and now it won't start. That's probably the reason why. Definitely check that. Now I'll take it outside and see if we can get it to start for you guys. All right, so just a quick demonstration. This is how this thing is supposed to work. Just like that. And I can feel the detent right about here. Locks it in place. If that thing is moving forward on its own without messing with the handle, then that's your problem. And you're gonna probably need to replace it.
could do to replace that flywheel brake pad, but I'm not really too worried about that. I just wanted to do this for this video, but that's how these things work. They're annoying. They can be a pain, but they are simple as long as you understand the theory behind how they work. So I hope this helped you guys, any of you who have been having issues with this, and stay tuned for more videos.